Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have an updated election map. Who do you want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and sub. We're trying to get 2,000 subscribers. Today's sources are going to be 270 to win, as you can tell. And this hasn't been updated since September 16, 2024, so it's not from within the last week. But as of September 16th, it shows Democrats Kamala Harris at 226 electoral votes and Republicans Donald J. Trump at 219 electoral votes, respectively. Going to the election map, we are using advanced press politics, we're using Politico, we're using Real Clear Polling, and we're using an assortment of other election poll uh, websites for our sources on how we're going to fill this in. Washington State with 12 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Oregon with eight electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. California with 54 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Alaska with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump and Republicans. Hawaii with four electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Montana with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Idaho with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nevada is currently brown as of right now. It is a brown color. It is a toss-up state. It is going back and forth between Democrat and Republican, so we're going to make it brown. Arizona, with 11 electoral votes, is a light pink. It's leaning heavily Republican, but the polls are updating all the time, every five hours. Wyoming, with three electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Utah, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Colorado with 10 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. New Mexico with five electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Texas with 40 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. North Dakota with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. South Dakota with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nevada, something very interesting is happening right now that was different from earlier, is that all of Nevada is leaning red. Nevada, the state, is red. The district of Nevada is red. And the third district, which is usually blue, is light pink or brown. So make it light pink or brown. It's heavily leaning red now. This is a shocking turn of events. Kansas, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Oklahoma, with seven electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Minnesota, with 10 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Iowa, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Missouri, with 10 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Arkansas, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Louisiana, with eight Electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. And now something interesting is happening after his rally here. Uh, it is turning light pink. Wisconsin, 10 electoral votes is a light pink now instead of heavy blue for Donald J. Trump. Illinois with 19 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Indiana with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Michigan in the last seven hours in this exciting turn of events is now light red for Donald J. Trump, 15 electoral votes. It was heavily blue thanks to Gretchen Shipmer, but now the tides are turning back and forth with each poll that is being conducted. Ohio with 17 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Kentucky with eight electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Tennessee with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Mississippi with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Alabama with nine electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Florida with 30 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Georgia with a two-point lead in Georgia, 16 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. South Carolina with nine electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. According to polls run in the last eight hours, North Carolina is leaning 0.7%. In the polls, red for Donald J. Trump. Virginia, with 13 electoral votes, is now considered a toss-up in the last eight hours after his rally he had. It is great. It will not be colored in. It has been heavily blue. West Virginia, with four electoral votes, is red 
for Donald J. Trump. Pennsylvania with 19 electoral votes. Red for Donald J. Trump. The rest of them except for Maine, which is red for Donald J. Trump, are all blue for Kamala Harris. What do you guys make of these election results? Let us know in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe. Tell us who you want to win. Baby, who do you want to win? Trump. And that's all she wrote. I'm President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are... Out. Please welcome President Ronald Reagan, who has a few questions for you. All of you will go to the polls, who stand there in the polling place and make a decision. I think when you make that decision, it might be well if you would ask yourself, are you better off than you were four years ago? President Trump, he'll make America great again. As a border state prosecutor, she took on drug cartels and jailed gang members for smuggling weapons and drugs across the border. I'm Kamala Harris, and I approve this message.